Hello YouTubers, beer geeks and beer hounds alike. Bill here, we're going to do a beer review. Alright. Okay, well, I might have gotten this lighting thing figured out. We'll see. Okay, this one's a trip. Um, Alright. This is... um. This product was brewed and canned with pride in uh, Gardena, California. At, at, and this brewery is called uh, Eureka Brewing Company. Okay. And this one's called West Coast Drift. And it comes in at 7% alcohol by volume. And it was canned on May 7th, 2021. No, 2021. May 7th, 2021. eight days old okay I never heard of this before never seen it before nothing uh, even says drink fresh it's got some literature there it's got um this is a uh, west coast and this hazy IPA brewed with Nelson mosaic and cashmere um, yeah never heard of this brewery before so um I'm gonna check them out right now. I got this at Total Wine and More for like five bucks or something like that, five fifty. This is what the can looks like. Let's see if it'll do it. Pretty washed out, yeah. Let's bump it down. There you go. Okay, pretty nice looking can there. All right. I like the way they did the date. Um, right here if you can see that right there they put the date right there okay really cool man good job so uh, boom we are washed out right and then I go like this and it fixes itself right okay wow I look pretty awesome huh shit All right there we go that's better I'm I just got off work I've had a long week I, I, I just Working six days a week. All right, so that's all I'll say about that. Look at that cool-looking label, though. So let's get it cracked open and see what we got here. Ooh, short nails. Mm. Let me get something here. There it is. Blam. I instantly smelled that come out when it came out. It smelled good. Whoa, here we go. Another hazy. Nice. Wasn't expecting that. It said West Coast. This don't look like a West Coast to me. Well, maybe if, if it's a juicy West Coast. But that, that looks like New England action. Shoot. Alright. Nice. Brand new beer, brand new brewery. We'll see how this goes. All right, we got a medium, big, frothy, creamy, silky head. Pretty bouncy there. We have a real hazy, like orangey kind of color. Looks pretty damn good to me. Hell yeah. I was expecting the clear beer. Like a you know really good filtered West Coast style, you know what I mean? We ain't got that. We got this. Oh yeah, yummy yummy hazy action. Look at that. That's beautiful looking beer. Really nice. Oh yeah, looks good. Cool. It's like a treat for me when it's hazy like that. It's just my favorite style. New England and Juicy Hazy. Oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah, see a New England would be like dark already, but they're still like getting through it pretty good, as you can see. Oh yeah, it looks good. 
I don't know, man. It's, it's almost a toss-up between like uh, juicy IPAs and freaking um, West or uh, New England style. They're they're pretty close, man. But those are my favorite styles: juicy IPA and New England. And that's all. All right. It's getting aroma on this puppy. Head went pretty rocky. Oh yeah, it's a juicy IPA for sure. Oh yeah, it's like got that kind of citrusy, kind of juicy, citrusy, kind of fruity kind of note. Like oranges and tangerines and mangoes and stuff, but like candy. Almost like Starburst candy kind of sweetness coming through. A little bit of pine and stuff coming through too. Smells really good. Smells really good. Cheers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, it comes in at 7% alcohol. Yes, this is tasty. It says it's a hazy IPA, so it looks like a juicy hazy and it tastes like it and smells like it. Mmm. Oh man, that's good. That is really good. Damn good. Where have these guys been all my life? Well, it says a 2020 Eureka Brewing Company, so maybe it's a brand new brewery. I mean, they're from Gardena. Wow. Gardena's not that far. Really tasty. Taste follows the aroma and then some. We could be getting berries and melons in there too. This is tasty. We're getting some dank kind of green hop notes also. Like you just you know, squeeze some fresh hop juice in there right off the vine. Oh yeah, that's tasty. Medium mouthfeel. No booziness, no raw alcohol notes. Very, very well constructed beer we have here. Very tasty. Yeah, I'm getting that kind of fresh hop dankiness. Mmm. I love it. This is tasty. Excellent lacing on the glass. Nice head retention. Yeah, that is awesome. So we're going to sip on this. We're getting some little earthy kind of hops coming through also. So we're going to sip on this, let it warm up, and uh, we'll be right back, okay? Okay, I'm 
back. All right, this beer is awesome. Uh, that's all I got to say. Um, it's got all kinds of tropical, juicy hop notes, fresh green hops, um, really killer malt backbone. Look at the lacing on the glass. Medium mouthfeel. It's got that kind of dankiness I like. Uh, and then it's got that kind of candy-ish kind of note. This this has a lot going on. It's real complex, really juicy and tasty. I love it. I love this beer. West Coast Drift, a hazy IPA. Yeah, this is awesome. If you see this, you get it fresh, go for it. It's worth it. Super tasty. I like this just as much as uh, New England style, for sure. All the notes I mentioned earlier are there and they're getting stronger as I go, as it warms up. It's so good. It's so good. Really nice uh, IPA here. Oh yeah, this is very tasty. It's got some earthy tones in there. It's got a lot going on. It's pretty complex. I love it. So um, that's pretty much what I got on this puppy. Um, on a scale of 1 to 5 stars, I'm going to give this puppy like a 4.7. It's that good. Not the best beer I ever had, but it's, it's up there. It's getting up there. Almost a 5, but 4.7 it is. That's my story. I'll stick with that. Um, you know the drill. I probably don't even need to say it, but yeah, I should. Like, subscribe. Look at that. Uh, awesome. Now we're getting melons and berries and everything coming through. This one's really good. So 4.7. Thanks for stopping by and checking it out. And uh, hopefully I'll check out some more in the future. If not, that's all good. We'll catch you later, okay? See ya.